for television interviews. The cameras were rolling at CBGB's, the legendary New York club, for the bad girl of rock and roll, Joan Jett. Her single, I Love Rock and Roll, took her to the top in 1982, and she's been trying to repeat ever since. She came to CBGB's to make a video for a song off her new album, but it was also a bit of a homecoming. I played here about 10 years ago with a band called The Runaways that I was in, which was the first band I was in, an all-girl band. So yeah, this place is, definitely has some special memories. The four original Runaways were all just 15 when the band was formed in 1975, but they were better known for their blatant on-stage sexuality than for their musical ability. But Jet has come a long way from there. She writes and produces her own music and just finished co-starring in a movie with Michael J. Fox, directed by Paul Schrader. Jet says she likes working in front of a camera, whether for features or a music video. Doing a video for one of her own songs, she says, helps put it in a new light. It's fun to do a video about one of your songs. I don't know, it gives you a chance to look at your song in a different way. Or try not to look at it too specifically. You don't want to really tell too much of a, a story. You don't want it to be too exact, necessarily. For someone still in her mid-twenties, Joan Jett has seen it all. She's still trying to match her past successes, but in the meantime, she'll continue to turn out hard rock with a feminine mystique.